Hey everyone, Scott Davenport. Welcome to Impost. Today is about the, the freedom of the freeform crop. And cropping is uh, something I do to a lot of my photos, but very rarely, it seems, do I uh, deviate from a, a standard, you know, air quotes, standard crop, whether it be, you know, a typical three by two, which our camera captures, or something that we're doing for print, you know, eight by 10, 20 by 30, whatever it might be. Uh, and I was working on this photo from the Sun Gold Point in La Jolla, California, and I was struggling with the crop and decided I'm not going to worry about the aspect ratio. And it really changed the nature of the photo for me. So here's the photo where I've done this freeform crop. Let me bring up the crop tool with the R key. And let me get our tools open here so we can reset that crop just to see what we were starting to work with. So initially I was trying to do some type of crop, you know, keeping things in their aspect ratio. This whole area was just distracting and so I didn't want it in the shot, but you know, I, I was struggling with this. I even tried using a panoramic style for, uh, for it where that got me closer. I was like, okay, I got to about here, and this is where I realized, you know, Scott, the story of your photo is this center area. It's these houses along the cliffs and this little, you know, little bit of reef barrier here. So this is what you need to focus on. But I liked what I had going on in the sky. At that point, I said, all right, you know, let's, let's forget about the aspect ratio, unlock it, and then just start working however I want to work. And the end result is this freeform crop right here that I ended up with. And to me, this um, this really zeroed in on what was interesting about the photo. This whole set of houses here. Some of them are getting some nice afternoon glow. A little bit of surf, and you know, some other just the um, the context, the surround of the photo. And as I worked through the photo, the next thing that was major for it was switching to black and white. And I'll hit that one there, so we'll see that change over to black and white. Because again, what, what happened for me is these houses became more prominent. They, they got brighter, they popped up a whole bunch. And again, the story of the photo was these houses. And you know, the color palette was pleasing, you know, a typical warm, cool kind of palette. You know, often you get in the, the sandstone areas of the San Diego coast, a lot of orange, a lot of blue. But the black and white felt good to me, and I kept that. And when I finished the photo, I even revisited that that crop. So we'll see things get even tighter and certainly did some work to punch up contrast, really darken out this, this barrier here, this set of rocks to, uh, to give some separation and a, a little more sense of depth in the field, but to downplay it. I didn't want folks eyes to be drawn here. I want this whole ridge of cool, wonderful looking houses to be, you know, be the story of the photo. So the, the tip of the week is freeform crop. Uh, it may not be something you use all the time, but it, it really does help you, you know, zero in on the story of your photo and really just fine tune it that way. And as I thought through it, as I'm using it, you know, even if I go to print this, I can print it whatever size I want. I can frame it however I want. I don't need to always be married to a particular aspect ratio, especially for a photo that you really, really like, but you like when you've tailored the crop ever so slightly to something that is not a standard print. If it's one of your, you know, best pieces of work, crop it the way you need to, to make it look its best. And then go ahead and print it on whatever size paper will hold it, trim it, and, you know, tailor a frame to it or tailor a mat to it, whatever you might need to do. But uh, you don't have to sacrifice all the time for an aspect ratio with a crop. That's it for this week's In Post. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, let me know somehow. Comments on the video below. Questions about photography, you can drop them in the comments. You can keep them private and send them to me through my website. I usually turn a response around in a day or so. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.